welcome to another edition of Afternoon Program. Now, this week, we have this very special announcement. Can I get a drum roll, please? It is Challenge Week Part 2. That's right, we're doing another Challenge Week, which everyone can participate in. So there's going to be a few more challenges, not the same ones as before, and we, of course, encourage everyone to participate. So once again, we have gathered some of the best athletes from AV staff, and they're each going to do a few more challenges, and you guys already know what to do. Watch the challenge, then film yourself giving each challenge your best try, and then drop your video of you participating in the challenge in the Dropbox below. So get after it, and we encourage everyone to participate in each of the challenges. Here they are. This is Ronnie Kornetchi from Michigan with another Challenge Week video and today's challenge is jump rope. The challenge itself is going to be to see how many times you can jump rope without messing up while recording yourself and counting the amount of jumps you can do out loud in the video. Uh, we are doing this challenge outside. It's very hot so I ask you guys to please stay hydrated while doing the challenge because jump roping is a very intensive but fun and rewarding challenge. Um, if you guys are doing it in the front of your house, I ask that you guys please be safe. We don't want you guys getting hurt, so please be aware of any cars that may be coming uh, and any possible safety concerns. So if you're new to jump roping or you haven't done jump roping in a long time and you're wondering how you start a jump rope, uh, one tip I can offer you guys is to swing the jump rope left, right, and then go into it when you're first starting. So let me demonstrate. So you're gonna swing left, right, and you're gonna go into it. And if you're having trouble starting off the jump rope, try that a few times, and that's how you start your jump rope. So let me demonstrate one more time. Left, right, middle, and then you can keep jump roping. Um, so the challenge itself, like I said, is to just record yourself jump roping, how many times you can get without messing up. But there are some tricks that you can do and some tricks that I will do just to have some fun with it because at the end of the day, this is also supposed to be fun. So one trick I like to do is hopping left and right. So let me demonstrate that. So I'm gonna hop one, two, three, four. And you're basically just skipping left and right. Another one you can do is hopping on each foot twice. So let me demonstrate that for you guys. So you got one, two, three, four. It's a little harder to do slow down, but I'm just trying to show you guys how to do it. Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna offer you guys the challenge by doing my own challenge. And I'm gonna make sure to count out how many I'm doing for the video. One other tip I will say is um, when you're doing your jump roping, so jump rope, as you can see, it's very thin. And you only really need to get about this high off the ground, about like an inch or two, uh, to actually jump over the rope. And it can be very tiring very quickly if you're jumping up really high. So I do suggest that if you're doing this challenge or you're just trying to jump rope in general, that you work on just doing little jumps, like hops almost, so that you can save your energy and so you can do it for longer. All right, so let's do the challenge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Alright, so I got thirty that time. I'm gonna do it one more time, a little more sped up for the more uh, faster paced people. But it all comes with patience and practice. So if you're having difficulty early on, or if you're like just beginning, just make sure to be patient and have fun with it. So that's what it's all about. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 
12, 6, 14, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 46, 47, 48, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. <laughs> it's a little tiring to count it out, but 66 is the challenge that I'm offering you guys. So now it's your turn. So record yourself doing the video. Make sure you guys count out how many times you do it every jump. And let's see what you guys have. Until next time, I miss you guys. Hope you guys are staying safe and having fun. Goodbye. What's up, guys? Hope you're excited for this week's Counselor Camper Challenge. This week it's going to be tennis based. As you can tell, I'm decked out in my gear. Got my Nike headband, wristband, everything. I don't think the shirt is, but um, I'm going to see if you guys can beat my record. I'm actually very distinguished. As you can tell, I have many plaques and awards from when I was a uh, high school and uh, tournament tennis player. Um, We'll see if you guys can beat me. We'll see. So the challenge is going to be, you have three tries. How many times you can bounce it on the side of the racket. Okay? So I'll give three goes. That's, this is the first challenge. There's going to be two challenges today. So, uh, ready? Two, three. Okay, three on my first go. I'm okay with that. Alright. One, two. Okay, two. That wasn't good. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. What can I say? Um, send in your videos. Let me know if you guys can beat that. Next challenge, you're gonna need a partner. So I'm gonna go grab my sister real quick. All right, guys. So for this next challenge, you're gonna need a partner. We're gonna see how many volleys we can get in a row. You get three tries. Try to beat our record. All right, ready? Go. Okay, three. Remember, try to stay six feet apart, social distance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, eighteen is better than three. So one last try, okay, ready? Send us your videos. Let us know if you can beat that. What's up? It's Albert. I'm going to show you guys the lacrosse wall ball challenge. Basically, I'm going to pass and catch the wall on the ball in two minutes and see how many I can get. How do you feel? Fantastic. Fantastic. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nick Ashworth here uh, for Antiochian Village Virtual Camp. And uh, today we're doing the juggling challenge. Uh, so basically the challenge is gonna be however many catches you can make consecutively. So for example, if I was doing a juggle here, that would be one catch because I caught it once. And then you count it one, two, three, four, five, see how long you can go. Uh, juggling is an interesting skill. You can look it up on the internet. Uh, but basically the way I started and the way I learned how is just you throw one up and you throw one underneath like this. And you just keep doing that until you got that really well down and you can probably do it with your eyes closed. I'm by no means an extremely skilled juggler, but I learned it one time. 
and I just kind of, it's like something you just don't forget really, it's like riding a bike. So you start with two in one hand, one in the other. You can do four objects if you want, that's even more impressive. There might be like one of you out there that's super good at juggling. I am not that good, I can only do three. Uh, so here we go. Ah, all right, so right there I got to 41. Uh, that's probably gonna do it for me, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Send me how many you can get. Um, I just used balled up ankle high socks for this one because I didn't have any like tennis balls. I couldn't find any. Uh, but yeah, so if you don't have any juggling balls, just use some balled up socks. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good rest of your day. Peace out. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Mike. We out here. As you can tell, we've got plenty of kendamas. Uh, this is basically my entire collection right here. And today, what we're gonna do is I have a couple of challenges for you all. So go grab grab your kendamas. You know, you know, brush off the dust a little bit. Get them uh, get them out of your closets, out of your rooms, and whatnot. And uh, let's lay some tricks. So as I describe the challenges to you all, uh, feel free to pause the video anytime if you need more time to look at things. Also, I, for the most part, I describe the names of each trick. So uh, what you can do is like go on YouTube. You can also look up a tutorial if you're confused about any of the tricks I did. Um, I did a little bit of explaining, but not a lot. So if you're ever confused about any of the tricks, you can just literally type in like how to do um, earth turn kendama and you can find it on YouTube. Another thing too is as you're going through the tricks or the challenges, make sure to record yourself doing them uh, and you might even be able to be featured on the AV Instagram page. So throughout all the tricks, grab your sibling, your mom, your dad, whoever, have them record. You know, shout out George. George is the one recording me right now. So uh, grab your sibling, anyone you can, have them record you doing the tricks. And uh, we'll have descriptions in uh, uh, down below which will describe how you can uh, submit your videos. All right, so first trick up is we're gonna go around every single trick. So you're gonna hit big cup, small cup, base cup, and then back onto the spike. So here we go, we'll see if I get it on the first try. So big cup, small cup, base cup, and then, oh, here we go. Big, small, base, spike. Okay, so another version of the same trick we're gonna do is what you can do is start with the spike and then hit all three of the cups. So we'll start with spike. So you can either spin spike. So if you wanna spin spike it to start off or you can just pull up spike. Get it? So I'll start off, hit the spike, then big, small, Spike, big, small, base. All right, so the next trick we're gonna do is basically seeing how many times you can hit big to small. So hopefully we'll see how many I can do and then we'll uh, you know try it out with me and see how many you can get. So we're just gonna go back and forth, big, small. No! I don't know how many that was, but we'll, we'll keep a counter and we'll see how many it was. Alright, so the next trick is called the Mashi Mashi. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but I like to call it the Mashi Mashi. And basically what it is, is you just go from big cup to base cup, and you see how many times you can do that in a minute. So if you want to, you know, race me, and we can see how many, uh, you know, we can do. See if you can beat me. So here we go. So 
I think the world record is like 130. I don't really know how many how many I just did, but we'll we'll put a counter and see if you can beat me. All right, so the next challenge up is basically doing a bunch of tricks with the spike. So uh, basically, the goal is to land about five different tricks that all involve the spike. So the first one is the spin spike, where basically you just spin the ball, land on the spike. Then the next one is to pull up and spike it without spinning. Here we go, pull up spike. Then the next one is called the swing spike. So you swing the, swing the ball and then spike it. Let me try and get it one more time. Let me do one more. Okay. Then the next one's an earth turn. So basically the ball does a 360 degree spin and comes back in. So here we go. So let me pull up spike. Pull up spike to earth turn. Spin spike, earth turn. All right, so now what I'm gonna try and do is put them all together. So I'm gonna try and do them all in a row, see if I can do it without messing up. So here's spin spike, here's pull up spike, pull up spike, and then the next one was swing spike, and then the last one, earth turn. If you want to add one more, two, just to add another one in there, there's this one called Faster Than Gravity. So this one also involves the spike, so I'll throw another one in there. But essentially what you want to do is uh, have the uh, can up at the top, the ball hanging here. Basically what's going to happen is you're going to let the ball fall, but you're going to try and catch it on the spike as if you're faster than gravity. So here, we're going to try it. And, oh, missed, missed that one there. Try one more time. So again. You let the ball fall and then you gotta catch it with the spike. Just like that. Alright, so this next um, this next challenge is a bit of a more difficult one in my opinion. And this one's a sequence of tricks. So the goal is to land three different tricks in a row. Uh, it's either three or four. Um, and it's basically a sequence of events. So the sequence is you're gonna first hit an airplane. So that's the airplane for you. So you're gonna hit an airplane. Then you're gonna go to Lighthouse and you're gonna land it. So you're here, so you hit the airplane. To Lighthouse, okay? And then once you hit Lighthouse, you're gonna come back, find the hole. So you're here. You're gonna come back, you're gonna find the hole. Not like that like this find the hole and then you're gonna do something called the jumping stick which is where you get it uh, a 360 to come out spin and then come all the way and back and find the hole so jumping stick just like that so I'm gonna try and pull all together and then see if you guys can do the same so Let's go. Let's go. So try that out. Try and see if you can land that combo. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what you come up with. All right, so the next trick we have is basically uh, just freestyle. So just take a minute, you can time yourself and just land whatever tricks you want. So I'm gonna time myself for a minute and you can just watch, you know, whatever I come up with. But feel free, grab your kendama and just uh, just do, you know, whatever, whatever tricks you've got. So here we go. Yeah, so take take some time, just land whatever tricks you want. I didn't obviously get to do all the tricks um, that I know how to do, but just just doing whatever is random, whatever first comes to my mind. Yeah, try it out. 
So if any of you have any questions about like, you know, um, what's my favorite trick or uh, where do you get your kendamas or anything like that, just drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try and answer as many questions as I can. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, check out the other programs that are going on. I know uh, there's a ton of things happening. A bunch of counselors are, you know, sharing their skills and talents. So basically, uh, make sure to take some time to check those out. And also, stay tuned because later tonight we'll be having uh, some type of prayer, maybe evening prayers. Um, so make sure to join us for those. And yeah, hope you're all doing well, staying safe, and uh, see you next time. All right, there you have it. Those are the challenges for this week, for Challenge Week Part 2. Don't forget to participate, send us your videos, and you might be featured in a special camper highlight reel. Thanks for participating. Get after it.